just swear I heard a rock over there. No f way. I believe in ghosts now. I seriously believe in ghosts. What is up you guys? I have waited the longest time to drop this Moonville video. To say the least, this was the scariest place I have ever, ever been. This was the scariest place because the entire night we were there, we heard bangs, footsteps, uh, unexplainable noises from like everywhere, and we were the only people there, so... And we were able to like debunk a lot of the sounds for like animals and whatnot, but some of this stuff was just... There's no way it could have been an animal. It had to be like a person or some type of spirit. So let's get into the video, guys. I hope you enjoy what we found and what we caught. Nothing is fake. I didn't put anything in here to make it more scary than it really is. Everything you see is what really happened. So leave a like on this video and subscribe to The Urban Files. And let's get it, guys. Moonville is a ghost town in southeastern Brown Township, Vinton County, Ohio. Little remains of this former mining community except a few foundations, a cemetery, and an abandoned railroad tunnel which is subject to numerous ghost stories. In 1856, the Marietta and Cincinnati Railroad was pushing through southeastern Ohio to reach Cincinnati. William Cutler, the owner of Fledgling Railroad, was having financial problems and was looking to streamline and conserve money while building the railroad. A man named Samuel Coe convinced Cutler to build the railroad on his large property for free in exchange for a favor. The railroad would be routed through Coe's land in order to haul Coe and Clay off his property. This move saved the railroad a great deal by reducing the distance the railroad traveled to Cincinnati. Several coal mines sprang up and it was found that there was a rich supply of it in the immediate area. Soon the mining town of Moonville was born. Moonville was never a big town, with a peak population in the 1870s of a little over a hundred. It is thought to be named for a man named Moon who once operated a store in the town. The town was isolated in the woods and far away from any other towns. People had to walk the tracks to get there from the nearest towns of Hope or Mineral. Vinton County is currently the least populated and the most heavily forested county in Ohio. In those days, it was even more wild and inhospitable. Walking the tracks was incredibly dangerous and was made even more hazardous by two long trestles in the area and the long Moonville Tunnel. One trestle stood over Raccoon Creek, less than 50 yards away from the tunnel mouth. By 1926, people lost their lives on the bridges or within the tunnel. The last fatality was reported in 1986 when a 10-year-old girl was struck by a locomotive on the trestle directly in front of the tunnel. However, there is no record of the 10-year-old girl's death online, and the NTSB search tool returns no rail-slash-pedestrian fatalities reported in Vinton County in 1986. In 1887, the Marietta and Cincinnati was bought out by the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. It quickly became part of a vital line from St. Louis to Washington, D.C. Train traffic increased dramatically while the town entered a decline from which it never recovered. By the turn of the century, coal mines slowly started to be used up and closed down. The last family left town in 1947. By then, the town itself was abandoned. By the 1960s, all the buildings were gone and there was little to mark the site, other than the town cemetery and the tunnel. More recent, when two people were visiting the ghost town Moonville, they had fallen on the tracks to their death. Two locks were placed on the gates of the bridge for them. The legends of Moonville Tunnel include several spooky tales of ghosts that still haunt visitors to this day. The legends include four different ghosts. Those ghosts are named by the Engineer, the Brakeman, the Lavender Lady, and the Bully. The Engineer is believed to be a ghost of an engineer that died due to a tragic train head-on-head -head collision. It is said that the engineer could only see a bright light before his life was tragically taken from him. News reports have wrote on engineers making statements about seeing a ghostly figure wearing an all-white robe while holding a lantern that illuminates a blinding light. The engineers have also reported seeing a ghostly figure walk across the tracks and then vanish. The brakeman is believed to be the ghost of a drunken young man who was working on the train as a brakeman. 
A drunken young man had consumed too much liquor one night and fell off the train down into the tracks where he would horrifically die. The legend says that visitors have seen a ghostly figure holding a lantern while walking alongside the track and through the tunnel. Visitors have also taken pictures of the tunnel and when they got their pictures developed they found a figure slash person in their pictures that they do not remember being there when they took the photo. Visitors of Moonville Tunnel have said they've seen a thin elderly woman walking alongside the trail. They say that as they watch her, she seems to cross the trail, then falls, but before she can make contact with the ground, she disappears into thin air. Historians are not sure who Lavender Lady really was. There are many stories of women who were killed by trains near Moonville Tunnel, but not one story can be pinned as Lavender Lady's story. The bully is believed to be the ghost of Baldy Keaton. Baldy Keaton was a resident of Moonville and decided to get drunk one night. The legend says that Baldy was a man who liked to fight when he got drunk. The legend also says that one of Baldi's tactics were to bear hug his opponent. When Baldi was at the saloon, he decided to fight someone and a group of men had to work to kick Baldi out. On Baldi's way home, he walked over the Moonville Tunnel and a group of men jumped Baldi and ultimately killed him and sent him over the side of the tunnel with his body landing on the tracks. When Baldi's body was found, it looked like his body was ran over by several trains and Baldi endured life rendering injuries. No one was ever convicted for Baldi's death. The legend now says that the ghost of Baldy Keaton stands above the tunnel and stares at the approaching visitors and will sometimes throw pebbles down at them. The legend of the bully was also told by young mothers to their children, and the mothers also used to tell their children not to stay out at night or else the bully would get them. Railroad workers called the line most lonesome, desolate eight miles of track between Parkersburg, West Virginia and St. Louis. They hated the area because it was isolated and the trains seemed to show up without warning. The line was dark, unsignaled between Parkersburg and Cincinnati, and the traffic was governed by train orders. In 1981, a signal was erected at Moonville. The railroad said that if a railroad worker needed to stop a train, they had to use the signal, not a flashlight or lantern. Engineers and conductors were ordered not to go into the emergency unless the signal was read. In June 1985, CSX announced that the line between Cumberland, Maryland and Cincinnati would be reduced to secondary status, and the last scheduled freight train passed through Moonville in August. Trains continued to run until the line was abandoned and the rails pulled up in 1988. The area remains accessible through the old roadbed provides access to the tunnel. Plans to turn the area into a formal rail trail and Moonville Rail Trail have been implemented. Six and a half miles of rails are currently open and nine and a half miles plus 12 bridges still needed. Now let's get into the spooky investigation of Moonville. This easily is one of my scariest investigations I've done and something happened to me that I'll never be able to explain. I'll tell you guys about that a little bit later. Let's get into the video. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to the Urban Files. What's up guys, I'm here at the Moonville Tunnel. I've been wanting to do this video for a while. And this place is super scary. Like we've been walking down the trail and we're like at the tunnel now. So let's get to it guys. This is insane guys. Moonville Tunnel. I've been wanting to come here for like the longest time. We're finally doing it. This giant old 1800s train tunnel. Is there anybody here with us? Yeah, it did. I can feel like a drop in temperature, definitely. Yeah. Is there anybody here with us? Yes or no? One as you guys saw it earlier, at the same spot. I've been getting really weird vibes from over there in the tunnel. Straight ahead. Spirits here that wish to communicate with us right now. Can you please make a sign through this spirit box? Ooh. Can you repeat yourself?
Are you a friendly ghost? Don't be afraid to speak. What was that? Can you say something again for us? I'm sorry we didn't catch what she said. Can you please repeat it for us? I think it, yep. I said yeah. Or something like that. We heard that loud and clear. Thank you. Whoa. What is that? I have no clue. I'll have to look back at it. John's getting more answers than I was. <laughs> Whoa. It said, I would say. I heard that. Really? It seriously sounded like it said, I would say. That's insane. You were like, John's getting more answers, and I said, I would say. That's creepy. Yeah, it's what? like having a conversation with John, guys. This is so weird. It wasn't answering me at all. But him, it looks him, I guess. To us one more time. He said, I am. I swear. Are you stuck here? He said I'm stuck. <gasps> Yo, I just got chills, guys. What was that? So like not you or something. What? There's a little over there. I'm getting like vibes guys, I'm getting like so scared over here. It's really scary at this place. I'm gonna repeat the one question. Okay. Do you wish to harm us? Yes or no? It definitely said something, but we don't know what. Are there any spirits here that wish to communicate with us? Whoa, dude, I can like feel it pulling on the pendulum. Yeah, we're getting answers. Check that I'm just moving a little bit. But that looks like a yes to me. This is yes. This is no. We are going to try to call the spirits out by name, guys. We know a few of the names like Lavender Lady and Bully, so we're going to ask them if they're here. Is the Lavender Lady here? Wow, that was a strong yes. Holy. Wow, look at it. It's like vibrating. The chain's like vibrating, guys. I can see it. I read online that's malevolent spirits when it vibrates like that. He's here. Can you give us a scent of lavender? It's saying no. Maybe she can. Stop. Let's see if... Oh, it stopped on a dime. I hear that like whistle again, like a train whistle. Or an old train on the tracks. saying yes and I didn't even ask it a question. This is not good. Stop. Is the bully here? I heard a rock over there. No f way. I believe in ghosts now. I seriously believe in ghosts. Is this the bully we are talking to? We heard a rock. Was that you? Yo. 
furious, and it was like shaking back and forth a little bit. It, I could feel it. Like he was like really excited to you show me that. Ask about his death. Are you is he upset? Oh, he had a violent death though. That might piss him off. Stop. Are you sad what they did to you when you died? No. That's creepy, ain't it? It's like he didn't care that they. Is this place haunted? So right after this, me and John stopped filming, and as we were just playing with the pendulum for a little bit, we started to hear pebbles falling down from above the tunnel. We brushed it off as, oh, they must just be falling off the tunnel or something, you know, like it's old and all that. So it was all fine, and then we started asking questions about the death of the bully, and we started hearing footsteps, and when I say footsteps, I mean loud boot footsteps, like coming right towards us through the other side of the tunnel. I waited for like a split second to like see if like it could have been an animal or something, but it was like in the same rhythm as footsteps, it sounded just like footsteps, and they were coming right towards us, and when you would look in that direction, there would be nobody there. So I told John, let's get up, let's go, and we jogged back to the car. I know I didn't get it on video, but that really happened, so whether you believe me or not, that's your choice, but that really happened to me, and that was super scary. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a comment of what you thought, and subscribe to The Urban Files, and I'll catch you next week, guys.